This is the cheapest truck in the world that we just bought from China. And to be honest with you, calling it a truck is kind of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm convinced we can actually turn this guy into a legit truck that can handle any off-road situation. So today, we're gonna install a lift kit. Yeah, how hard could it actually be? <gasps> Are you for real? What? This is a disaster. I know, it is a disaster. Can a lift kit actually improve our crappy little truck? We're about to find out. Welcome to Donut. Okay, well, we've got the Changli out and about. We're in the wilderness. Yeah, we're on some off-road trails. We've already taken it on the streets. Yep, it, it did pretty badly at that. Yeah, so now we gotta see if it can do some legit truck stuff. And I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? Oh my god, I don't know, the bed clanging around or something? <laughs> Dude, this is full gas, by the way. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm at pedal to the floor. Uh -oh. Ooh, big rut, big rut. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's try to back it up a little bit. Should I tackle it this way? I guess so. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. <laughs> Oh, we got those tiny little tires. Great, okay, maybe I gotta hit it with some speed. I think so. Yeah! Oh! Oh! Hell yeah, brother. Oh, she's quicker downhill. You just gotta ride it, like a fucking Bronco. Yeah. <laughs> and we're in the weeds. Well, so far, so good, huh? Put a little mud pit. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah! Oh. I'm afraid it's just gonna come apart. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god. I need a helmet. <laughs> Dude, I'm crying. <laughs> it was making a lot of noise in here. Lots of metal clanking on metal. Yeah, and my head <sighs> clanking on metal. Yeah, you hit the Starry Night head roof a few times. Yeah. I mean, this is this looks like a flipper, but we'll try it. Yeah, once you get to like halfway, there's really nothing. You don't think you can do. snake it I up here? I don't think so. Come on. Oh, oh, okay. I don't think you're gonna get any speed. We can't, we don't have enough speed. I mean, I don't like giving up, but yeah. I don't think she's gonna do it. No traction. All right, looks like we got some work to do. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, but let's get back to the office. Oh, come on. Maybe I'll get a better signal up the trail. Oh wait, let me open up Onyx. I saved an online map. If you like off-roading and off-road camping, then you need to use Onyx Off-Road. And I'm not just saying that because they're today's sponsor. All of us at Dona have been using Onyx Off-Road since way before this, and I can't stress enough how good it is. With only one tap, you've got access to thousands of trails with detailed information like difficulty ratings, duration, open and close dates, and so much more. You can take pre-existing trails or customize your own. If you're an elite member, there's even color-coded public and private land boundaries so you'll know where you can camp legally or illegally. You can be in the middle of nowhere, have zero cell service, and Onyx Off-Road still gives you all the interactive land and trail data so that you always know where you are and you can get home safe. And for a limited time, Onyx is giving Donut viewers 30% off the app when you use code DONUT, or you can just click that link below. And if you're afraid of commitment, they also offer a seven day free trial. Oh, all right, full bars. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go back to watching this video. Plenty of room, plenty of room, plenty of room. You got it, you got it, you got it. Keep going for, aw. <laughs> So this truck has a divorced spring and shock setup. Now it's not uncommon, but it's not going to offer you as much tunability or performance as an independent suspension setup like you'll see on most modern trucks. Here's the deal though, Jerry and I both failed geometry class, so we're going to try to keep the suspension system as close to stock as possible. Oh, ah! 
But here's the thing, I'm not gonna cheap out on this Chang Lee. So we decided to buy a set of Fox Performance Series shocks that cost almost as much as this entire truck. And the reason they cost so much is because of this guy right here. This is our external reservoir. This allows us to run a lot more fluid so that we can prevent higher temperatures, create nice consistent dampening while we're bumping and banging in the off-road. And for springs, here's what we have. These are Swift Spring Springs, and they're the softest spring rate springs that Swift Springs makes, which should be good for our light little truck. They're also much taller than the stock springs, which is gonna get us some increased ground clearance and some more room for some big old wheels and tires. Okay, well, we got our clamps in, that's great. So now it's not gonna pop out. Honestly, it's not perfect, but it's better than I was expecting. Oh, it's got a little bend to her. Canon, good job picking this size. Good job. Okay. Put it up for Canon. Canon did it, guys, he did it. That's my boy, dude. Next, we gotta get our new shocks mounted. So the stock brackets are not big enough for these shocks. We could modify the mounting points on the shocks, but these things are barely welded onto the frame anyway. So we'll cut them off and we'll use some bigger brackets that are made for these. So Joby. So Jerry. What do we got? Well, we've got a spring that's just a little bit too long. Yeah. Our spring is about two, three inches too long for our shock. So these springs gotta go. Get them out of here. Let's get a couple shorter springs in. So we've got some 14 inches that should be just about the right height. And they're also an 80 pound spring rate. So they're a little bit softer. This truck really doesn't weigh anything. And it was having a hard time compressing these whatsoever. So we just gotta yank these out, stick these in, do some welding and a bunch of other stuff and get this thing back on its feet. <laughs> Stronger, Jer. <laughs> Watch your finger, Jer. <laughs> Good job, Jer. Coming down. Okay, stop. Golly! All right, we've got our suspension all installed on the Chang Lee, so now it's time to address our wheels and tires. Now, the stock wheels and tires on this thing are tiny. They're 12 inch wheels and they're like two inches wide. So we obviously need to replace these with something a little more aggressive to make use of our sick suspension. So these little dinkers gotta go. Here's what we got to replace them. We've got these beautiful, also 12 inch wheels, but with a much bigger, beefier mud terrain tire, more width, and they look pretty cool. We managed to find a set with a negative 14 offset, which should help keep the wheels far enough from the chassis that we don't run into the suspension or have too much interference with the bed or the body. But these hogs should make this thing much better off-road. Regardless, they're gonna make it look a lot cooler. Oh man. This is ridiculous. Pretty tough stuff. Thanks for showing up. Oh yeah, I come for all the glory. Yeah, it's barely moved. Yeah, I think our clearance is pretty good here at the back. So I say we just take a little bit of hammer to it. Dude, bash bros. Bash bros. Oh yeah, dude. Okay, let's do the other side. The back's not bad. Let's see the front. Yep. Did I uh, break something? <laughs> well, you're just mushing the body. The front's gonna need some trimming. We can see we're already hitting here. The wheels turned a little bit, but we're gonna need to make some room there. Just cut all that off. And I have no qualms about cutting this thing up. This whole front end is all stamped steel. So it's really thin, but it's all put together in one piece. So you can't take the bumper off. So we're just gonna take a body saw and... <laughs> I just cut through this light. <laughs> Whoopsies. Clean. What happened here? So, uh, I think Henry accidentally cut through the entire wiring harness. Henry! All right, the wiring harness is reattached, so now it's the moment of truth. Let's see if this thing turns on. Okay, well, that's a good sign. 
Oh, thank God. I was worried. But that was only the start of our problems because even though the Chang Lee turned on, it wouldn't go into drive. Great. Are you for real? What? Is he serious? This is a disaster. You I know. Well just order another it one. is a disaster. Me and Jerry are at our wits end with his truck, so it's time we call in an expert. I have the strange feeling that somewhere along the lines when the wires got cut, it probably blew the five volt regulator inside of the actual inverter. So with Gary's help, we finally found our problem. A faulty pedal that we think shorted when we cut through the wiring harness. So we got a new pedal, which only cost us a cool $400. And when we went to install it, this happened. Our $400 Toyota Prius accelerator pedal is smoked. But we're not giving up, so we drug this thing back to our secret testing location, and we are gonna test it. We've rigged up a system that will work. Yeah, what system is that, Joey? Well, it's gonna be a two-person driving experience now. <laughs> You'll be in charge of the brakes and steering wheel, and I'll have the throttle in the passenger seat. We've got a battery pack in the bed of the truck with an extension cord running up to the sunroof, into the cabin, and to our bench power supply, which is wired up to the uh, power controller where the throttle used to go. So I'll be in the passenger seat with a knob and that'll effectively be our throttle. Uh, it's ridiculous, it's stupid, but it's gonna work. Okay. Let's hop in it and see how it does. Let's do it. Okay, Jerry, one thing to note before we get going. For some reason, drive is now reverse and reverse is now drive. So okay, keep that, that in mind. Okay. Throw us in reverse. Okay, reverse, go. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, well that's 3.8 volts right there. That's full beans? Yep. How is it slower than before? <laughs> Big wheels and tires. <laughs> wow, this thing sucks. <laughs> well, let's do it backwards. Let's try it. <laughs> it's faster in reverse for it's sure. Way it's way faster in reverse. We gotta figure that out. <laughs> Okay, that's max throttle. That's it. Oh, Should I slow it down? You gotta tell me. I don't want to die like this. <laughs> no one wants to die in a changely. Turned off the gas. Whoops. Uh oh, big bump. <laughs> 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 that dash fell out. <laughs> I think we did pretty good. Yeah. It handled these little uh, ruts perfectly. Uh oh, big bump. <laughs> 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 over some stuff that I think we would have had trouble with last time. Yeah. We definitely have more traction. Yeah, more traction, more ground clearance. I think what we should do is go see if we can conquer the hill that we weren't able to climb last time. Let's go. My prediction, you know, this is still pretty steep with some pretty big ruts. We've got more traction. We've got more clearance. Yeah. That's great. I don't think we have the power for it. I don't think we have the power either. We're already pretty juiced out. I don't know. We're going to give it our, our best effort. Yeah, I'd love to be surprised, but... Yeah, it's going to be tough. Give me all 3.8. <laughs> and Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come Keep on, chugging. Baby. Come on. But... Okay, I'm off the throttle. Should we give it another, another angle? We were getting some tire slip, huh? Come on, baby. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, she doesn't like it. Let's see if we can do it in reverse. Naturally. Naturally. Just yeah. give me full, full beam. Okay, that's it. Oh, God. I don't even know if I want to look. <laughs> it's a strange sensation. Well, we're just spinning tire. Yeah. For the past five years, we've been working hard making clothes. And thanks to the support of our awesome community, you guys, as of August 5th, donut apparel and accessories will be available at every Zoomies store in America and Canada. 
And to kick it off, we are gonna throw a launch event at our local Zoomi store, the Lamo Fashion Center. Saturday, August 5th from 3 to 5 p.m. I'll be there. Every donut host will be there. We're gonna sign everything that says donut on it. There's gonna be racing sims, exclusive posters and stickers, freebies, prizes. All the information is in the description below. I can't believe how far we've come. It's all because of you guys. Come on out. Let's party, dude. I'm really excited. This is gonna be sick. We're in the mall, dude. What the heck, Joby? We didn't make it. No, we didn't, but we did have fun, didn't we? That was a lot of fun. I just think we're up now against some power oh, issues. That's new. Yeah, yeah. When you open the door, it pushes on that. Well, I wouldn't worry about that too much. <laughs> but you know what? When you're building monster trucks, this is the process. Bigger suspension, bigger wheels, bigger tires. Now you gotta put bigger motor in there. Right. What type of motor should we put in this sucker? Hayabusa? Yeah. Tesla? Yeah. Steam engine? <laughs> Steam engine? Let us know down in the comments below. This isn't the end for a little Chang Lee. We're gonna go up that mountain. Yeah. This is one of the sketchier vehicles we've been in. We're putting our life on the line. So if you could, please like and subscribe. Follow Joby at Zach Joe. Follow me at Jeremiah Burton. Till next week. Bye.